You're still in, you're still in, you're still in. <laughs> so, lads, today is a very good day for the simple fact that I am revealing my new, newish, newish car. Now, there's a big background story to this. Basically, before you all start moaning, before you all start shouting at me, I'm going to get to the point, to the point of what the point is for. But first off, two nights ago, I was lucky enough to be graced with one of my dream cars. I have been given one of the best cars I have ever seen in my whole entire life and I'm about to show you it within the next five minutes but first listen to what I've got to say. So what basically happened was two nights ago I went all the way to London to actually pick up what is about to be my new car, a Range Rover Sport because obviously I'm keeping the i8 but with British roads and i8 and British roads driving that every day doesn't really work so I've been lucky enough really to be in the position where I'm able to get another car so I don't have to drive that car and ruin it every single day. Now I went all the way to London on a train. It was a two hour delay. That took me four hours to get to London from Cardiff. Got all the way there and the Range Rover wasn't ready. So I literally just traveled four hours for nothing. Now luckily the guy was a good friend of mine who was actually selling me the Range Rover and he was like, listen, go on, understand. You've come all the way from Cardiff. You're one of my good mates. I'm not gonna let you go home empty handed. So I was, I'm thinking to myself, Wait a minute, what, what, what is this nigga actually on about? He's not gonna let me go home empty handed. I've come all the way here, just let me go. He's like, nah, I've got a surprise for you. We're having dinner, I'm thinking, what, what is this guy gonna pull out the hat? Pull up to some random ass place, like basically like where we are. Some dodgy ass steel yard. He opens up the garage. And you are not gonna believe what he's given me. Turn around, Sh show him, show him, show him, show him. Show him. They give G's. They give real G's. G wagons. You good, man? I don't think so, bro. I don't think so. That look with the alloys. These are not standard G wagon alloys. If you look at a normal G wagon, it probably looks shit compared to this one because these are 22s, 23s. You're making it up. <laughs> They're big alloys. They're different alloys to what they usually are. As you can see, you've got all these extras. Everything pretty much on the car is carbon fiber. Carbon fiber grill, carbon fiber lights, carbon fiber front, like extra different grills. And as you can see, what I like here, what barbers do, is instead of having a Mercedes sign, they completely change the whole car. They even give themselves their own badge. Right, so we're gonna jump inside the car, and as you can see, this is just ridiculous. I mean, look at the state of these chairs. Tell me they are not the best looking seats you have ever seen. The stitching, the interior, Everything is just ridiculous. Yeah, okay, fair play. The thing is left-hand drive. But after around about an hour of driving on British roads, you do actually get used to it. I thought it was gonna be a lot more difficult. But other than that, this car is pretty much perfect. I'm not gonna lie, it's uncomfortable. But it looks so good. Who gives a fuck if a car's uncomfortable, if it looks as good as it does? Coming around to the back, I'm not gonna lie, you don't really get much space. <laughs> Now, big up Monsterman, big up Monsterman. Don't really get much space, especially if you're sitting behind me, but no matter what car you're in, you're not really gonna get much space. I'm six foot six. But that is one thing the G-Wagon isn't really good for. Comfortability and space. Other than that, I mean, just look at the thing. It's ridiculous. And so I'll tell you one thing I've missed. I've had a Porsche, which was diesel. I've got an i8, which is electric. I've never experienced. <laughs> <laughs> Right, wait, look, he went the wrong way, right. I've never actually experienced... <laughs> yes! I've never experienced that. That's a V8 turbo. That ain't no pussy engine. That ain't no diesel. That ain't no electric. Pound signs coming out of that every time you fucking rev. Yeah, every time you rev. <laughs> Yo, that's something I've been talking to about. Listen, this car is one of the most costly things I have ever seen in my life. It cost me a hundred pounds to get from Reading Services to Cardiff. That's a one one hour thirty. Is it one hour thirty? Yeah, it's about an hour and a half. 
and it cost me a hundred pounds. I then got home, almost broke down. My mum had to bring me petrol, and I had to put more petrol in. I put 150 pounds in in two days. That's probably another one. It sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this car. You can stunt. You can sort of stand on the edge. You can drive over cars. You can drive over other cars. That's a good point. It's like a fucking truck. If you wanted to rent one of these out, it would legit cost you, I think, it's around about £1,200 a day to rent one of these. They're £250,000 brand new. And he's giving it to me as a courtesy can until my Range Rover comes. How am I going to give this back? In fact, uh, maybe I won't. <laughs> now we'll just come around to the back of the car. I'm not even going to lie. It's the first time. Oh shit. Oh shit, you can actually get a few more people in here. So if anyone's living across the border illegally, <laughs> holla at me. Holla at your boy. You can get a couple of people in here. <laughs> Yo, you can't get out. <laughs> Yo, there's no lever to get out when you get in. Yo, that is raving. Do you know if you lock them in here, you cannot get out. <laughs> what the fuck? I, that ain't even for the camera. You genuinely, look, there's no way when you're in to get out. Yo, let's go kidnap people. <laughs> <laughs> Pop the hood, bro. Right. I'm going to find out how to pop this hood. Because there is a way. I think that's it, bro. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, man's popped the hood, G. There's going to be a lever. See that lever? I don't know. That, that lever there. You... Dragon? Yeah, look, look, you push it in. Fuck me. Not just the cameraman, eh? Oh, Sometimes shit. Mechanic. Not just the cameraman. Sometimes we can't. Not just the cameraman. Holy shit. No, that is fucking sick. Well, that's what a real engine looks like. Not an electric engine. So there it is. You've seen the KC car, probably the world's best KC car. 